Hello everyone. In this video, we have another interesting geometry challenge in front of us. So we are given a figure where we have an inscribed circle and uh, we have to find out the value of this angle M. Okay, so this will be an interesting geometry challenge and I encourage you all to watch till the end and if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let us start with the problem. First of all, I would like to take the large triangle that is a triangle ABC. So this is a right angle triangle because angle B is 90 degree. So I will take triangle ABC and I would like to apply angle sum property to this triangle. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. Now we know that angle B is 90. Let me give some names to angle A and angle C. So maybe I will name this angle A as X. Okay, so this angle A will be named as X and I will name this angle C as Y. Okay, so according to this uh, relation X plus 90 plus Y will be equal to 180 degree. Now we take this 90 to the other side so that we get the value of X plus Y will be equal to 180 minus 90. So we get the relation X plus Y equal to 90. So let me take it as equation number one. This will be a useful relation. We'll use it later on. Okay. Now I will go to this triangle, triangle ADF. Okay. So let's take triangle ADF and apply the same angle sum property. So angle A plus angle D plus angle F will be equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Now, there is an interesting fact in this triangle ABC. That is, this length AD is equal to AF. So, why are they equal? Because they are tangents drawn from the external point A to this circle. So, let me explain this in detail here. So, imagine we have a circle over here and we are drawing two tangents from this external point, let us say A, to this circle. So, let us say that the length of this tangent is X and this one is Y. Okay, so as per this particular theorem, these two tangents must be equal, that is, x will be equal to y. So we are going to apply the same property while solving our problem. So here, here as you can see, from this external point, we have drawn these two tangents. So AD and AF will be equal. So by using the property of isosceles triangles, where two sides are equal, we can say that this angle D and this angle F these two angles will be equal because ADF is an isosceles triangle. So if I name this angle as A, then this will also be A. The same applies for this triangle as well, triangle CEF as well. CE is equal to CF, okay? Maybe I will put double lines for better clarity. So because of that, this angle E will be equal to angle F. Angle E will be equal to angle F because of the property of isosceles triangles. So if I name this angle as a B, then this will also be B. Okay. Now let us take a look at uh, triangle ADF. So let's go to the triangle CEF later. Apply the angle sum property. Angle A is X here plus angle D is A plus angle F is A. This is equal to 180 degrees. Now X plus 2A will be equal to 180 degrees. So we get X equal to 180 minus 2a okay so we have another result let me take it as result number two here and now i would like to go to triangle cef now okay so let's take triangle cef apply the angle sum property i will directly do it here so we know that angle b plus angle b plus angle y will be equal to 180 degree in that triangle cef so 2b plus y is equal to 180 degree so y is equal to 180 minus 2b okay this will be result number 3 now let us go on and add result number 2 and result number 3 so what are we going to do we are going to add 2 and 3 so add 2 and 3 so the left side parts are x and y so that we get x plus y on the left side this is equal to right side part is 180 minus 2a plus 180 minus 2b okay let us simplify this a little bit x plus y is equal to 180 plus 180 will be 360 
and we have minus 2a minus 2b we can take minus 2 common outside so that we have minus 2 times a plus b okay so let me take this as result number 4 so we are getting lots of results here but ultimately our goal is to find out angle m right so how can we relate angle m with these variables and before we do that let us see here we have two results okay one is this result number one that is x plus y is equal to 90 and we have another result number four x plus y is equal to this stuff so in both the results we have x plus y equal to something which means left side parts are equal so if left hand, left hand side parts are equal then that means right hand side parts will also be equal so from comparing four and one so result four will be equal to result one here so because of that the right side parts that is 360 minus 2 times a plus b will be equal to this 90 degree because x plus y is equal to both of them now we have to relate a b and this m and we can easily do that in the figure because you can see that here a m and b they form a linear pair isn't it so because of that their sum will be equal to 180 degree so we can say that a plus m plus b right is equal to 180 degree because they form a linear pair let's take uh, m to the other side so that we get a plus b equal to 180 minus m okay so now we have the value of a plus b let us take this value a plus b and now we are going to substitute the value in the place of a plus b as 180 minus 2m so now we are finally getting an equation for m so let's solve this 360 degree minus 2 times a plus b is 180 minus m so we have 180 minus m here this is equal to 90 degree and let us open the bracket so we have 360 minus 2 into 180 is minus 360 minus 2 times minus m will be plus 2m this is equal to 90 so we can cancel out 360 360 here and we have got 2m equal to 90 degrees so m will be equal to 90 divided by 2 which is 45 degrees so this is where we can stop and uh, this is the value of the angle m in the figure so we went through lots of equations so first we uh, applied the angle sum property to ang uh, triangle abc then we went for triangle adf and cef did the same stuff and manipulated the results a little bit and finally we get an equation in terms of m which we can easily solve so i hope all of you enjoyed the video for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos i will see you all in the next video